Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across any video on this channel, try to subscribe because a lot of things is actually happening right now in the Biafran land and the Biafran landscape. So earlier yesterday, you know, let us say yesterday, the Israelites um, actually came out, you know, to pay their massive support to the Biafrans, which gave a lot of Biafrans, you know, joy, you understand? Because Biafran now have now extended you understand from Finland extend to the USA and they have not extend to Israel you understand so you can see that Simon Ikba Prime Minister Simon Ikba is working very hard you understand and he's working with intelligence you understand he's seeking connection right now with the little space we have you know the same by second is the date Simon Ikba gave for the Biafran declaration and within that space Simon Ikba has been able to get the attention of at least three countries, you understand, which he has the attention of the Finland, he has the attention of the USA, and now he has the attention of the Israel, which is making it, which is making the Biafran pillar to be very strong, you understand, you know, connections build a um, strong pillar. So, Samanikba actually had um, a town hall meeting, a USA town hall meeting, which the USA actually welcomed him, and I want you guys to take your time to watch everything they had in the meeting you understand the meeting the, the meeting was quite interesting you understand i want you guys to watch it don't be in haste to leave the video because after that i will now make a little details and explanation then i'll show you guys the video of how those israelite citizens were happy seeing that biafra the collection date is approaching and biafra wants to stand you understand i'll add those videos so right now for now let's um start with the video of the USA town hall meeting and you know how they welcomed Simon Ikba, Prime Minister Simon Ikba. So watch that video, then after watching the video, come back for the remaining details and explanation. Of Biafra, Liazen, in different state of the United States. I welcome all of you, the cabinet members, ministers and head of department of the Biafra Republic of Mention Exile and the Biafra de facto government in the homeland. Good evening from here. It's uh, another honor to be with you today in the U.S. town hall meeting. The uh, enemies are quaking and have all seated in their various gossiping location to watch again how we formed our liberation. Because that is the biggest mystery to them today. You've seen them releasing research articles and many papers on how Biafra government is funding its liberation. They took their time to start analyzing, researching on our fundraising, and at the same time, including the views we've had on Twitter. They themselves have posted and published their own finding that my ex posts have over 226 million views on X alone. So they can understand the magnitude of what their friends are doing globally. And I've challenged them to publish their own drug lord criminal president Tinubu views. Let us see who is interested in listening to a convicted criminal in the United States. My fellow Biafrans, I want you all to understand that our freedom is here. My speech today will be very brief and I hope, but I would like to point and touch many places and many issues. One is that I want to use this opportunity and medium to send a warning to Bianca Ujuku to stay clear from anything sabotage against Biafra. 
if she want to continue to have her peace, the Afro people will not look at anybody that stand on their way to freedom. Her husband led the war when Nigeria declared war against Biafra people, the great Iroko of Biafra, which is her late, her late husband, commanded Biafra armed forces. And of course, he was the president of Biafra during that three year of genocide. So, we are not going to trade our freedom for anything political position because a lot of people have expected me to react on the so-called frivolous appointment of Bianca Ojobo. The reason I have not reacted is that it is not my business. And I believe it is none of Pierre France business. She is a politician. She believes in Nigeria. And that is her own choice. She's just one person, one woman with one vote. Today, you don't expect me to, to start reacting when 50 million Biafrans have consented to this Biafra government, giving this Biafra government consent and the authority to fight for their freedom. So who is Bianco Joko? Only one person, one woman. So I don't want to waste my time, but it is very imperative that I bring this message to her. So long as she maintain her lane, mind her business as a politician under Nigeria, we don't have problem with her. But when we are going to have problem with her is when she used that position to fight against Biafra in any capacity. Then, Simon Ekpa will change to whatever that will suit her. And then, we will engage her in any way possible. For now, she can enjoy her appointment. I have no business and I have no issue with her appointment under Nigeria. You know, the question they used to ask, when will Biafra come? This question has always been what has been in the mind of the enemy for decades. They come like friends, they laugh, and at the end, the question is actually meant to mock the Biafra agitation in those days. My fellow Biafrans, I would like to, today is Sunday. I would like to read the Bible today. I would like to read from the book of Ecclesiastes 7. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, I'm going to read from chapter 7, and I will read verse 7, and I will read 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely, oppression, when we, when you expect the Biafra government and myself, to act on certain issues. We don't delve into things with our anger. We take our time. But when we start, the entire world, we know that we have started. They used to ask you, when will this Biafra come? Mazin Amikano mentioned this in one of his broadcasts. Always there, when will this Biafra come? When will this Biafra come? That's a question that many, both the good and the bad, carried in their heart for decades. But that question now has an answer. The question finally has an answer. And the 
infinite answer will come on December 2nd, 2024. My fellow Biafrans, as we continue to put in place the delegitimization of the Nigeria terrorist state within Biafra land, we are taking it one step at a time. We're not in a hurry. This is a fight that have taken the life of millions and we've fought this for over 50 years. The Biafra government, 72 hours ultimatum to return all the Biafrans that were kidnapped from the old eastern Nigeria are taken to northern Nigeria and other part of Nigeria to detain. Many of them have been detained for many years without trial. That 72 hours ultimatum ends today. And we have seen reactions from different courts. One of them is the court, is the Owere, the Owere Appeal Court. They have announced temporary shutdown because of security concern. This particular shutdown it is now very evidently clear that Nigeria have no intention of returning our brothers they kidnapped from Eastern Nigeria and taken to different detention facilities in the Northern Nigeria, or maybe many of them have been killed. So, the knowing what we do not know about the fate of our fellow brothers and sisters both women and children that were taken in the name of arrests. So they decided to lock down because they can't provide our brothers they kidnapped from Eastern Nigeria and taken to Northern Nigeria. I want to use this medium to inform Nigeria terrorist state this evening that this temporary lockdown because they could not provide our brothers and sisters they kidnapped should not be temporarily. They have locked down permanently and indefinitely. I will never reopen again. I want to let you know that the evil will only strive when good men keep quiet and silent. In the absence of good men, the evil men will always strive. Nigeria have shown to be evil for decades. And in all this evil of Nigeria, the good men have always been terrified, fear, and they remain silent for many years. Today, many good men have risen up and they are all in the Afra government in exile. And so we are going to commit a great violence on this Nigeria, on this Nigeria state, because that's exactly what is going to restore peace. And it has started. We are going to delegitimize Nigeria institution by institution, step by step, organization by organization, government by, by government, and at the end, they will leave our land. And we will have a peaceful nation where our children and women we live and walk in the night without anybody kidnapping them. Just like we all enjoy in Europe, where we can wake up 2 a.m. in the night, go to shop without anybody molesting and without anybody being afraid of being kidnapped. That is the, the vision we have for Biafra people. I want to also let those who are shouting Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism died with Biafra. And it will rise with Biafra. A lot of people are making noise all over Africa, especially those who have access to media. They say, oh, what do you have to say about Pan-Africanism? I have not actually took my time to address them. But today I will make you know touch on Pan-Africanism. And I want you to look around yourself Look around Africa. How many people do you see in government in any African country that is shouting Pan-Africanism? No. Only one. 
and he is called Malema, Julius Malema. Julius Malema is the only one in government shouting Pan-Africanism, but he is making a very terrible decision. His Pan-Africanism can never yield any result because it is a complete misplace of priority. You do not support Evo because you have a platform. Julius Malema will be shouting Pan-Africanism, Pan-Africanism, but in as much as Arafat supported Mandela, that is not a reason to support terrorism against Israel. What happened on the 7th of October was a complete terrorist attack and must be differentiated. You must be able to differentiate terrorist attack and struggle for freedom. Malema, with his Pan-Africanism, refused to understand the difference between terrorism and fighting for freedom. Another person who is shouting for Pan-Africanism is Professor Lumumba. He is not in the government. So what am I trying to say? The only person that is that have a voice shouting Pan-Africanism today is Malema, and he is in the government of South Africa. So if you know that you actually love Africa and you really want Pan-Africanism to come to reality, there is a need for you to support Biafra because that is where the Pan-Africanism will rise. You need people in the government that knows what Africa people need. And Biafra have young, vibrant men and women who will make that Pan-Africanism to become a reality. So if you don't support Biafra, your dream is dead and dead on arrival. My fellow Biafrans, December 2nd, we are going to make history. This December 2nd is sacrosanct in the history of Biafra as we are going to fulfill our destiny on that very day. The heaven and the earth will stand still to witness the occasion. The sun will bear witness and the enemies will tremble before us as the world behold the emergence of the United States of Biafra on international stage. For decades, Biafra have stood firm, fearless, resilience, and unwavering against Nigeria terrorism and oppressors. Today, we on the bricks of the new era. We are ready to claim and reclaim our destiny and officially restore Biafra. You watched the video, you saw everything Samonipa said in that particular video. That is, that's the USA town hall meeting, you understand? And he stated a lot of things that they are now making research about his um, Twitter page, at taking his um, total views. And Samonipa has also um, sent a message to them that if they can be coming to check the total views he have in his page, that they should go and check the total views of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. <laughs> Samonipa is a very, very, you know, somebody that is strong and he don't give and is not ready for any on any sheet you understand so after that i want you guys to now watch the video that i, I promised to put at the end of this of those israelite citizens you know i was so impressed with the way they were talking they even knew more about biafran you understand they knew more about biafran and they are happy that biafran declaration date is on the december second so without wasting much of your time i want you to watch that video observe everything Observe how happy they are. Observe how they are giving the Biafra word of encouragement. You know to see that nothing's happened. Nothing happened during the declaration of the Biafra. So thank you for watching this video to this particular point. You know try to share your opinion in the comment section. And when sharing your opinion, please don't use hate speech. Don't use hate speech because any hate speech comment will be automatically deleted. You understand? So that you will not feel embarrassed that you took your time to go to the comment section. To share your comments and it was actually deleted so try to share your opinion no matter how um no matter how um positive or negative it might be 
try to make the world not abusive you understand so thank you for watching the video observe that video and share your opinion in the comment section thank you i be i believe that israel still continues with this path as of supporting its friends its allies its family and just like we did that in uh, 1967 israel supports and does what it can uh i i did hear that mr kano was in uh in israel in jerusalem be before he was abducted and uh and disappeared from the public's eye and this is the most important thing that i i want the friends to take from this uh uh discussion that israel we stand with you guys and although the the cause of biafra is not very familiar with uh with the world and with israelis uh i want to say that you know because of my activity because of what i do uh more and more israelis are hearing about the cause of biafra each and every day uh so yes we do stand with you i want you to know that two gentlemen you see here they are israelites and um, they are our brothers wherever we see them around the world we always identify with them they are here please can we, you say we hello hope, we hope you make a beer from a uh, state in oh. nigeria we wish you well we wish you success you are clever people you're intelligent people oh. don't let the people what they do to you put you down you stay strong and god will help you god thank will protect you thank you so much you can you're hear on the right side oh thank you so much yeah i can hear what he's saying he's praying for every biafran this is an israel this and this is an israeli they are praying and supporting us to have our own life back just as the uh, uk had their uh, prayers it and uh, had their life back we also going to have our life back because we are peaceful people want to live in peace that's why we want to exist out of uh, nigeria can you say hello to our hello brothers, our brothers in, in biafra you are you are from the same um fathers as us and we wish you peace and safety and um and no one